Today's episode of K0MRD Radio Prepper Podcast, we're going to be talking about mic fright and how to get over it. I'll get right to it after the intro. Hello and welcome to the podcast. This is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and I'm here with a new podcast and I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be discussing communications for preppers and everybody else that's interested. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Mike Fright is a feeling of apprehension when waiting to talk on amateur radio frequencies for the very first time. When I first got my license back in 2009, I was terrified of pushing the PTT button on my mic and initiating my first contact simply because I didn't want to sound foolish or say something wrong on the air. I suspect that this feeling is the same for all new amateur radio operators. Social anxiety is a real issue for some people. And as amateur radio is a social activity, I can see why some are reluctant to talk on the air. So, the question becomes, how does one overcome this? I'll give you some advice that I have used early in my amateur radio career. The first piece of advice is to listen to your chosen frequency or repeater if you're working VHF or UHF for about a week or so. Listen especially to any nets on the air, as they have a set way that the net control operator runs the net. It would generally be checking in with your call sign by suffix, that's the last three letters of your call sign, and in my case I would have to wait until the letter M, as that's the first part of my my call sign suffix. I would give my call sign, my location, any traffic I have, or say, no traffic. After all the check-ins, the net moves into content, and that's information of interest in the local area, specifically if you are on UHF and VHF. The content portion can be either very short or very long, and this will depend on the activities happening in the local area. After the content, the net control operator will ask for any late check-ins or any other comments. Then the net would be closed. This is a short and sweet way to overcome mic fright. The second piece of advice I give is to write yourself a script. This way you'll know exactly what you're going to say, and it'll take away any stumbling that may occur because of nerves. This approach is great for the first few times you get on the air. The script could be something as simple as, This is K0MRD monitoring 146610 repeater. If there is somebody on the repeater, they will, they will respond with their call sign and give you a signal report. For example, you are 5-9 into the repeater. This is an RST signal report. And RST stands for Readability, Strength, and Tone. Now, tone is only used on CW, so on phone or voice contacts, the RST report is shortened to readability and strength, Uh, hence 5-9, meaning 5 is perfectly readable and 9 is an extremely strong signal. I'll go deeper into RST reports in a later episode, but for now, the 5-9 RST report should suffice. Another good tip is to participate in HF contesting, and I've said it previously, Technicians have HF voice privileges on the 10 meter band. The contacts here are usually short. Your call sign, your location, and a signal report. For example, the initiating station would call CQ, CQ, CQ contest. I would reply K0MRD, Iowa, 5-9. The reply would come, copy K0MRD, Iowa, you are 5-9 into Texas, as an example. And that's it. Short and simple. 
and after a while, you'll become more confident when talking on the air. In conclusion, every ham radio operator was new at one point, and we've all experienced mic fright. This stems from not wanting to break the gentleman's rules of ham radio, or sounding like a noob. I get it. I had mic fright myself, and then I remembered the only rule on voice operation is the need to identify at the beginning, every 10 minutes into a QSO or a conversation, and at the end. Again, I and others suggest that you listen to your local repeater for a few days, get a feel for what to say by listening to other ham radio ops. You can also check into schedule nets. That's all for now. This is K0MRD. You have just listened to the K0MRD Radio Prepper Podcast with your host, K0MRD. Subscribe to our podcast on iTunes and Google Play to catch our next episode. Thanks for taking the time to listen. This is K0MRD, your radio prepper, signing off, 7-3.